The history of Apple Incorporated begins in 1976, when two college dropouts, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, launched the Apple One, a computer designed and handbuilt by Wozniak. This pioneering venture marked the inception of a brand that would become synonymous with innovation and technology. Apple's early success with the Apple II set the stage for its role in popularizing personal computing. The introduction of the Macintosh in 1984, with its groundbreaking graphical user interface, further solidified Apple's position as an industry leader. However, the journey wasn't without its challenges. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Apple faced significant financial struggles and a diminishing market share due to fierce competition and internal strife. The return of Steve Jobs in 1997 marked a turning point for the company. With Jobs at the helm, Apple introduced a series of revolutionary products, starting with the iMac in 1998. This period of innovation continued with the launch of the iPod in 2001, the iPhone in 2007, and the iPad in 2010, each redefining its product category and cementing Apple's reputation for design and user experience. The successes of these products not only revived Apple's fortunes, but also dramatically altered the landscape of the tech industry. Under the leadership of Tim Cook, who took over as CEO in 2011, Apple has continued to innovate, expanding into new markets with services like Apple Music and Apple TV Plus and breakthrough products such as the Apple Watch and AirPods. Throughout its history, Apple Incorporated has faced its share of controversies and criticisms, ranging from labor practices to environmental concerns. Nonetheless, its relentless focus on design, innovation, and user experience has kept it at the forefront of technology, continually pushing the boundaries of what is possible. As of 2023, Apple stands as one of the most valuable companies in the world, a testament to its enduring legacy of innovation and influence in the world of technology.